the Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. The lead is 10. Greasel working on Thompson, the floater, good! Sam Greasel, a one-man wrecking crew. No question about it, Sam Greasel indeed a one-man wrecking crew late in that game versus Oral Roberts and was fantastic as well Saturday versus Kansas City as the Bison got a big win Thursday, try to bounce it back and run it back on Saturday. Tip of the cap to Kansas City for their success in that one. Welcome to the Bison Basketball Show here at the head coach David Richmond. Coach, as always, a pleasure. Amazing. Final week of the regular season. Here we go. And a ton on the line still for your basketball team. A lot out there to play for with one game left. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you, you go and, and you celebrate the successes of what was a terrific victory, Jeff, um, on Thursday um, against Oral Roberts. And, and disappointing result on, on Saturday. Uh, but we have two weeks here in, in front of us where we need to take full advantage of some opportunities for, to get Bison basketball better. Um, there is still, like to your point, a lot on the line. Uh, but everything we want to accomplish uh, besides a little bump in the road on Saturday is in front of us, and, and we need to be prepared for that. Tell you what, two high-level basketball games in both of those contests last week with Oral Roberts and Kansas City before we get to the highlights. Let's kind of take me through. 35,000-foot view for you tremendous on Thursday and then he faced a Kansas City team Saturday that man is playing really really well and I know you have a lot of respect for Billy Donlin their head coach yeah I mean you said the best tip of the, tip of the cap to Kansas City but um, you know shame on me if I excuse and just hand them that too there's some things that we need to take some ownership of there's some things that there's some opportunities that we need to learn from Jeff and, and we'll, we'll take full advantage of that we have a um, a week here uh, before we play North Dakota, North Dakota on Saturday um, and, and but the primary focus of this week will be Bison basketball and then we have another week until the Summit League tournament so we're gonna play one game in two weeks and, and that's okay we need to take advantage of this time to get better all right here we go let's roll through it Thursday night man this was a big time build up matchup with a ton on the line the two seed hanging out there in the wind and if NDSU wanted to put themselves in position for that two seed they needed to win this game against Oral Roberts and uh, I tell you what, this was this was a lot of fun, Coach. This was a great performance by your team, perhaps the best of the season overall, and a tremendous first half of play on both sides. I, I would certainly agree, Jeff. I, I thought for the better part of about 40 minutes, besides a little bit of a a, a lot a last a, a lack of defensive focus toward the end of the first half. Uh, that was as, as locked in as I've seen our group both on, on both ends of the floor from start to finish. And um, you, you're seeing in the um, in the first half in particular, we were scoring off the pass. I believe we had nine um, nine assists in the first half, and then the second half to hold a talented Oral Roberts team uh, to 25 points, to hold them for the game under 24 uh, percent from three, and then under 35 percent from the field. Uh, that's a big time credit to our guys, and there you're seeing some terrific defensive effort, some multiple effort plays by our guys. Uh, nine Nine assists in the first half, eight three-pointers made in the first half as well. You saw the length, and in talking to some people around the league that watched this game, Coach, they said that that length really gave Oral Roberts issues they uh, hadn't seen or weren't used to. Six block shots from your defense that night. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's who we are. You know, sometimes we, what we might lack in, you know, the, the quickness or the agility piece, we can make up for length, and we've got to use that. Um, when we play with discipline defensively, um, and that, that, that length stays in front of you, and um, we're making people score over the top of us, we're getting some shot, block shots. Um, uh, again, this is a program based on grit, based on being able to defend, and you saw that for the better part of that 40 minutes, Jeff. Day City Bank game recap, NDSU. Wow, I know a lot of people looked at that scoreboard afterwards Thursday night and said, okay, that's, that's pretty impressive overall. Holding Oral Roberts, who is the fifth best scoring offense in the country to their season low of 59 points overall. It's a team that scored right around 85 points per game this season, and the Bison held them to 59. Coincidentally, the last time ORU was held to 60 points or lower, the Friday game last year in the Shack by David Richmond's Bison in a 61-54 victory. Hey, the credit goes to our guys, and, and I know Bowden um, and Tyree did a terrific job. Des McKinney got a little bit of a shot at Ace Miss, and, and they're going to get the headlines of that. But, but you're seeing some length at the rim, guys scoring over the top of Sam, uh, Grant getting some blocks, Rocky making some multiple effort plays. Uh, Malik gets a big credit in that, too. 
Um, all of our guys were teed up, focused, locked in. You don't, you don't do that um, to hold the team to, to, with those kind of numbers, mm -hmm. to those lower numbers, uh, without everybody being locked in. On yeah, the they're, they're a team that is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country as well. The Bison held ORU to 23% from behind the three-point line. Also did that to them down in Tulsa. Two of the three worst three-point shooting performances by ORU. David Richmond's Bison defense running it, getting it done. All right, we uh, saw the highlight to start the show, and Dom called it perfectly. Sam Greasel, a one-man wrecking crew as the Bison gapped it late in the ball game. Greasel, 10 of 12 points. There's a big defensive play right there. Roll us through, Coach. Greasel's performance here individually with help certainly from the other four. Well, Sam's defense doesn't get enough credit. He's got versatility, and, and we ask him to do a lot defensively where he's guarding perimeter players. He's guarding guys bigger, stronger than him, um, and, and he just competes, and I think that's the best thing. But, you know, I thought Sam at times during the better part of that game was settling for some tougher shots, you know, some step-back threes some, where he wasn't getting to his spots. And, and we really challenged him in one of the timeouts, and he just got downhill. He got to his spots. He got to the free-throw line, and he was downright terrific for us. And then that really took a, a good, comfortable margin to a big margin and really iced that thing for us. Yeah, that's fantastic. Coach's corner right there with David Richmond. Sam Greasel gapping it for the Bison and putting away Oral Roberts in a, a big-time game, a must-win game for NDSU. Well, coming up next, the Bison turn the page and look towards a hot Kansas City team on Senior Day, an emotional day in so many ways as well. We take a look at that when we return on the Bison Basketball Show. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. This means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. One game left. Can you believe it? One more game in this regular season. Saturday, both at 1 p.m. In-state rivalry as the NDSU men head to the Betty in Grand Forks. The NDSU women take on UND at the Shack. And I tell you, I love mirrored scheduling, everyone. Did I make that clear? I didn't? Okay. Now, on the radio side, and you listen to the men's game on Bison 1660 and 107.9 The Fox. You can watch the women's game right here on WDAY Extra. All right, Coach, senior day. Let's go right into it. Kansas City, a team coming in that had won nine of their last 11 games, playing very well. You're looking to turn the page. I know big win Thursday, a lot of emotion afterwards and looking to get it going early and often against this Kansas City bunch. Yeah, and, and you're right. There was there was a lot on the line still from a conference seating standpoint. There was a lot of emotions based on four, and in particular three seniors that have put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the shack. Um, but just a big game. And, and I, I didn't think we came out with the same, you know, maybe focus and, and energy we did the other night. Um, you, you're, to your point, I thought Kansas City, I'm not going to take anything away from them. They were terrific. They were on a mission, and they have been lately, and, you, and you, you saw that. They came in with a bunch of swag on both ends of the floor. 
Um, we responded really good towards the end of the first half and, and locked in defensively, got some stops, and were able to get that one-point lead. And it was a ball game. It was just a terrific ball game um, until about that two-minute mark. And, and um, you know, things can go here or there. Uh, they didn't go our way. We weren't able to finish. I'll give Kansas City credit. How about that play right there? Yeah. Do you, you draw that one up in the huddle? You know, I, I will take <laughs> some credit. We we had seen how they were guarding their, our blobs, our baseline out of bounds. Um, and and that, was, that is something that we had mentioned to Sam. If it's there, take advantage of it and you know give him the credit for executing it. And it was 65-64. He had a one-point lead. That's a great look by Tyree right there, finding Rocky Cruiser. And and then they they closed pretty solidly. There is, you know, watch this effort here. Wow. Grant Nelson out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and we had a couple of those this weekend. Rocky had one, I believe, against Oral Roberts, Grant did and and, and it's it's fun to see making multiple efforts by our guys. And um, again, I, I thought we got a little rushed and you know, not having Sam on the court down the stretch certainly hurt us. Uh, but we can't make excuses for that. We got everybody we get we need to have everybody on the same page being able to execute in those crucial situations and we weren't able to do that Saturday afternoon. Gate City Bank game recap, Kansas City the winner, Greasel with 21, 16 in the first half, including the last 12 of the first half for David Richmond's team. Rocky Cruiser 12 and 9 as Kansas City closes this game off well. A 21-6 ending by the Ruse to uh, pull away and win this one 85-71, which now creates all sorts of interesting scenarios for this final week and makes this UND game, uh, Coach, very, very important. We'll talk about that here coming up uh, in a moment. But on Saturday, as Coach mentioned, senior day, Four seniors, three in particular, that have played a lot of basketball here. Sam Greasel, Rocky Cruiser, Tyree Eady laid a ton on the line and won a lot of big games here at NDSU. Dom Izzo caught up with the three seniors in this uh, feature story. NDSU basketball will say goodbye to a historic group of players, Sam Greasel, Tyree Eady, and Rocky Cruiser. All have played in two NCAA tournaments and three straight Summit League tournament title games. Greasel and Edie have the opportunity to play another year, but despite their coach's pleas, they're going to move on with their brother, Cruiser. What did Tom Brady say? Never say never. Um, no, you know, we're going to recognize these guys with full intent that they're going to be done. Um, you know, between, you know, Tyree and Rocky and Sam, they are as tight as brothers can be. Um, and because of that, I think it's the right thing to do to send them out. We've been here for a long time. We think they've laid a foundation here that the young guys to come here and take over and kind of like, make the program a little bit better. So, um, just, just kind of being done, you know. Basketball's a lot. It's taxing our body, our mind. So, next step in our lives. I'm trying not to cry on senior night. I'm not going to tell you that for a fact. But I think that we're pretty focused. Greasel spins and gets it to go. Greasel gives her near shoe the lead. Greasel has an interesting backstory. He originally committed to South Dakota out of high school. But when former Mayville State coach Craig Smith left Vermillion for Utah State, Greasel changed his mind. We bring that up, honestly, a decent amount that, you know, I'm not necessarily supposed to be here, but, you know, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. Um, and I think there's definitely a reason that whatever happened, happened, and, and I didn't go there and I ended up coming here because, I mean, obviously I think it worked out pretty well. As much well-deserved attention goes to the Bison football team, basketball has been as successful as any Summit League program. Cruiser says the reason is simple. The brotherhood of basketball is, is easier to be close-knit than it is in football, and I think that's really special about here in the basketball court. Um, 14 guys is a lot easier. You can bring them all together at one time, and, and it's, it's truly a brotherhood. A great Senior Day feature story from Dom Izzo right there. Those guys mean a lot to you, I know, in a big-time way, and still plenty of memories left to create here this season. I think there's two things. One, big thank you to Dom and WDAY for doing something that needed to be done. And two, you're right, there is still a lot on the line. And um, yeah, the successes on the court, even in the classroom, are, are, are well documented by those three. Um, but we talk a lot in our program about being a husband, a father, an employee, employer as you go forward in life, Jeff. And, and, the, and these three are everything I want the program to be about as we continue to move forward. They've left a legacy. They've left it better than they found it. Um, and they're going to be terrific at all four of those things, being great husbands, fathers, employees, employers. All right, there you go. We can't thank those young men enough. And again, looking forward to uh, some more memories made by uh, the seniors here the rest of this season. Big one coming up, Coach. Must win. If you want the two seed, which I know you do, you need to win 
win at UND and a little bit of help around the league overall. Kind of walk me through your mindset this week. Yeah, there's some certain things, Jeff, that are obviously out of our control now, unfortunately, because of the result on Saturday. But what is in our control is this week of practice and, and getting better. And, and as crazy as it sounds, you go back and watch you know, both games, both Thursday's game against ORU and, and Saturday against Kansas City. And there's so many opportunities that I see our staff sees that we can get better. We need to take advantage of this week doing so. Yep. Coach, thanks so much. We'll, uh, we'll see you Saturday in Grand Forks. Thank you, Jeff. There you go. Head coach David Richmond coming up. The NDSU women roll in the final week of the regular season. They're looking to build some momentum towards the Summit League Tournament. Jory Collins joins us next. Oh, Bud Light sells a retro tie <laughs> Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. Another rock and roll weekend. <laughs> Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> It's time appliances had a personality, yours. And the professionals at Regals can help. With the Cafe Appliances Remodel Reward, receive up to a $2,000 rebate with the purchase of select cafe appliances now through June 30th at Regals. Plus free delivery, free setup, and free recycling of your old appliances. Find out why no one delivers more value than Regals. GE, good things for life. Regals, 609 Main Avenue, Moorhead. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Oh, Bud Light sells a retro tie. <laughs> Have you tried these yet? Bud Light sells a retro tie. The loudest flavors ever. Jory Collins joins us here in studio as the NDSU women looking to build some momentum here at the end of the season. One game left. It's a big one as always when NDSU and the University of North Dakota go head to head. It's at home, so pack the shack this weekend. A 1 p.m. tip Saturday for the Bison women. All right, NDSU on the road starting in Tulsa this last weekend. I tell you, I love mirrored scheduling. Love it. Down at uh, Oral Roberts and Coach. You're trying to get it going here on the road, trying to get it rolling, and I know the uh, the Golden Eagles got off to a, to a good start on you, and your team showed fight, though, not only Thursday, but all weekend long again. Yeah, you know, we got there. We had a great practice the day before when we got in. We had to leave early that morning on Wednesday. Uh, we had a great shoot around. I was really excited to see us play on Thursday. Uh, we got off to a very so <clears throat> slow start in this game. I think down 16-8 to eight maybe in the yeah. first quarter. And then from there on, I thought we played pretty good basketball. I think we won the second, third, and fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, but just not quite enough. We had, uh, you know, Heaven played pretty good in this particular game. Uh, Rania was able to make some plays. Uh, she got to play in front of a bunch of friends mm -hmm. and family, uh, you know, close to Oklahoma City. So that was great for her to see uh, a bunch of her, you know, nieces and, and, and family there. Um, you know, I think we even built a lead late in this game. Uh, had some opportunities. Um, and just didn't have enough plays there really late down the stretch. We had a bad foul. It gave two free throws uh, really late in that one. But, uh, again, we were fighting. We competed the full 40 minutes. Uh, just got off to a really slow start in this game. Talked about Renia Hopkins from Oklahoma City. A lot of family and friends watching her play. Having Hamling making a play. And you did as we're watching the highlights here. It's a 65-61 lead for your team with... Just under three minutes to play, I believe, down at the Maybe Center, and they close in a 7-0 run. Most frustrating part of it for you overall about the, the end of the game? Well, just the, there's two possessions where we, we needed a stop. We, we had them dead. Uh, we got caught sleeping off the ball a little bit. They make a, a cut and, and get a tie. And then out of a timeout, we foul, you know, 28 feet from the basket to give them two free throws to tie it up when they're in the bonus. So just 
not enough heady plays, um, you know, to win the game. Uh, you hate that when you have a four-point lead with that amount of time left. You feel like you got to be able to hang on in those situations that we just couldn't. I mean, Heaven was terrific. Yeah. Led us all game long. Uh, made tough shots all game long to give us a chance. But again, those those plays that aren't on the stat sheet are the things that are keeping us from winning ball games right now. Gate City Bank game recap right there. A 68-64 winner for Oral Roberts. We mentioned Rania Hopkins again. Man, Heaven was great as you talked about. But, man, Rania has been playing some of her best basketball of her career. She played well again Saturday as well at Kansas City. What stands out to you about what she's doing right now, Coach? Well, she's just she's playing with just a lot more juice. Uh, you know, she's going out there to try to make plays for our team, and, and not just on the offensive end, but on the defensive end as well. She's been really good on the ball. Uh, maybe a little bit too aggressive in some spots here the last couple days, but uh, that's out of competitiveness and want to. Um, and she's playing with a little bit more discipline than she did earlier in the year and is just reaping the benefits. Yep. The Bison women hit the road this last weekend. The ORU game you saw right there on the bus from Tulsa to Kansas City looking to take down a hot UMKC women's team. And once again, it was a game that came down to the final quarter. We'll talk with Coach about that when we return on the Bison basketball. Show. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile. Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile, the loudest flavors ever. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time. Which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, Better starts with you. This means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Rick Electric has been providing electrical services to the FM area since 1964. Rick Electric covers everything from residential needs to large-scale industrial and commercial projects like the Elig Track and Field Complex, a new practice facility at NDSU, and more. New wiring, electrical maintenance, troubleshooting, and repair. You can count on Rick Electric. Quality and safety are their top priorities. And all servicemen coming into your home or business are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Give Rick Electric a call today at 218-233-6194 or go to rickelectric.com. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile. Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile, the loudest flavors ever. One last game for Jory Collins and the NDSU women here in this regular season as they build towards the Summit League Tournament down at the Denny Sanford Premier Center in Sioux Falls. Both the Bison men and women play UND Saturday. You can watch the women's game right here on WDAY Extra. Listen to Keith Brake and Katie Johnson on the radio side on the city at 94.5 FM. Again, a 1 p.m. tip at the Shack. Pack the Shack. It is senior day as well. Yep which is a big deal. Let's start there, Coach. Yeah. Senior day, uh, and Emily, know, we'll, we're going to talk about Emily Dietz here a lot yep, in this last we'll game. We'll be earning uh, Renia Hopkins as well. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I think I just saw the other day Emily Dietz set the career record yep. for games played uh, in an NDSU uniform. And if you think about all the terrific players that have played here, and obviously she gets the extra year with COVID, but anytime you've played 130 basketball games at an institution, and I think maybe has started 100 of those, yeah. um, that's pretty impressive. So... Uh, the longevity and, and people wanting you around and, and being an impact player for that amount of time is uh, something I'm excited to celebrate with her. I know looking to sweep the season series from UND. You started up there back in December with the big win to open things up and looking again to build some momentum yeah, with some that, success. That seems like an eternity ago that, <laughs> that we played those guys before Christmas and, and they've had a heck of a year. 
Uh, Mallory's done a great job with their team and uh, obviously excited. I love rivalry games. Um, that's what it's all about. Uh, just being as close as we are and with the tradition and the history between the two schools, uh, it should be a lot of fun on Saturday. Yep, 1 o'clock Saturday. Love to see you out there honoring the seniors and packing the shack. One last time with this basketball season for the NDSU women. Well, last Saturday, this past weekend, taking on a hot Kansas City team and what they're doing this season at the Sweeney Center. Uh, this is uh, close to home for you as well. This is also close to home for one Ryan Cobbins, who I know had a lot of family and friends in attendance we did. watching we, the play. We had a we had a terrific crowd, Jeff. I, we might have had 200, 250 people there with with NDSU affiliation. With I think Ryan might have had 100 or so of, <laughs> of her family and friends, her high school principal. I mean, there was all kinds of people there, and uh, obviously, I had a lot of family. Dylan's from Kansas, had a lot of family. Brooks from Missouri had a lot of family. Um, we were excited about the game. Uh, you know, we got down 10 early, 31-21. Did a great job coming back. I think we're down one or either up one at half. Um, and turned it into a back and forth game. The entire second half was minimal possessions, one or two possession game. Uh, we were able to, to take a lead here. I think it was back and forth, multiple lead changes. Um, and again, just got down the stretch in the last two minutes, couldn't make plays. Ryan really showed out in front of her family and friends. She had a monster ball game and uh, was really consistent for us. And Heaven was the other one that just continued to compete for us and make plays and keep us in games and give us a chance. Tied at the end of the third quarter uh, and they make a few more winning plays down the stretch what's the what's that urgency kind of mentality yeah, you know, like you're looking for here that, now? that's been their mo and, and umkc has been down going into the fourth quarter or tied in probably half their ball games this year and have just been able to put together uh, huge fourth quarters they did against us in both games 25 points here 23 points there um, you know they celebrated six seniors that day uh, that's a lot of experience and, and, and they've been really good in the late game situations uh, and again it just we had to foul at the end to get it to nine but it was really a, a two uh, possession game there with a minute to go so we're fighting Jeff mm -hmm. we're just not getting the the two or three plays we need to make in the last three minutes for us to get the win Gate City Bank game recap right there. Got about 30 seconds left. You mentioned Ryan Cobbins. Talked a lot about how important she is to your team. Great to see her play well, and I know you need her here in these last couple of games and in Sioux Falls. Yeah, and, and I think it was great for her to get to play well in front of her family and friends, and 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 you could see the extra boost in her step and a little extra juice there. Um, I, I sure hope that continues Saturday and into the Summit League tournament. She's plenty capable of of putting us on her back and, and leading us to some wins. And, um, you know, we need her to be that for us. Should be great. So we want to see you Saturday pack in the shack, the NDSU women taking on UND. Coach, thanks so much for the time and best yeah. of luck on Saturday. All right, thanks, Jeff. There you go. That's going to do it for us. Big thanks to Jory Collins. My name is Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to Halberstad's West Acres, the official men's clothiers of NDSU Athletics. You've been watching the Bison Basketball Show. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.